Good morning, it's Wednesday, September 30th. 30th is it? Yeah, today's the 30th, end of the month. I'm working on editing some photos, um, doing some portrait editing, and some photos from uh, Mount Baker's volleyball and soccer events yesterday. Uh, Mount Baker and Squalicum. Uh, Squalicum won both events. Um, so some of those photos are up on my fan page. I did a little slideshow of the JV volleyball match and I'm working on the others so you can stay tuned for more volleyball and soccer. I'm about to head out the door to do a little portrait shoot um, with my friend Terry. Uh, we'll see if we can get her on video. Um, after that I'm going to go to Hovander Park and then I have another tentative portrait shoot uh, set up after the cross country meet at Hovander. So I'll get some cross country action and hopefully some more portraits and then I'll go back to the studio and see what sold out of my store. Uh, I listed a few t-shirts this morning, but I didn't get a whole lot more listed, but uh, we'll see if I sold anything. We're here with Terry Hayes, just finished doing a portrait shoot for the one-to-one -one Women Coaching Women website. And Terry is a local life coach here in Bellingham. Here's a look at their actual website, one-to-onewomen.org. As you can see, there's all kinds of information on there. If you want to go check things out, we got videos, all kinds of history, more videos. Looks like a nice little site. Have to explore that a little bit more. One to one women.org. Tell me a little bit about this one to one women's website. What is it? One to one women coaching women is an international uh, nonprofit organization. We are uh, a group of about 60 coaches internationally. Most of our coaches are in the U.S. And we coach women who uh, traditionally can't afford coaching. So um, the, the criteria for becoming a client is on our website, so please check us out. Um, the women that we coach are going through life transitions and who are financial, financially uh, not uh, earning a lot of money, and that's one of the criteria. Um, but they've demonstrated that they can be um, that they can move through uh, transitions, and uh, did, they just need a partner to help them um, with that transition right now. We also coach the uh, caregivers of wounded veterans. And so we are really excited about that. We've been doing that for the last um, year and a half and have been very successful and received very good um, feedback from the caregivers uh, saying that it's very beneficial to have a coach um, be w work with them over the course of 26 weeks to deal with the issues that they deal with. So it's a very exciting time for one-to-one -one and we're hoping to grow. Um, please check us out. Our, our website is one to one womenorg one to one womenorg Yes. Taking a look at the one to one Women Coaching Women website. Actually, this is the Facebook fan page. Um, I know I've talked to Terry about her involvement with this in the past, but it's kind of nice to go in online and see what it's all about. So if you want to go check it out, Go like their fan page, One to One Women Coaching Women. You've been doing this for three years now, is that right? That's right. And what is the most rewarding part of doing it? Um, for me, um, coaching women uh, in transition is about witnessing their, their transformation. And uh, it, 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 I get to know them very, very well, and um, it it's just fills me up. Every, after every call, I feel energized. I don't know how to act my age. I've never been this age before. Now there's a posting I can get behind. We're here back in the backyard where we once uh, photographed your daughter's wedding. How long has it been now? <laughs> That's been three years ago, just this last uh, September. Yeah, it was a lovely day and uh, it was a day just like it is right now and it was perfect um, and it was the photographs are just lasting memories of that day. It was wonderful. here back at the studio after my short shoot with Terry and a, a short interview. Uh, I'm going to show you what sold. I had a few sales this morning. Uh, this nice uh, Russell hooded sweatshirt sold. 
a nice Vans t-shirt, some dish jeans, and two XXL polo shirts by St. John's Bay. Waiting for the girls to finish. Still has it? Oh my gosh. I don't have I don't think my camera can zoom quite that well. Man bun, it's the man bun. Oh, okay, where is he in this group? There it is. He's bending down. Still running. We're here with Sasha and Shiana, and we're about ready to go out on the Bellingham streets and do some portrait work. This is my second shoot with Shy. Mm -hmm. How'd the first shoot go? It went well. It was a lot of fun. Right. We got some good pictures. Still There's some learning. up on my fan page. <laughs> yeah. You looking forward to today's shoot? I am. I am. It's a work in progress learning thing for me. And this is her vision. She wanted to bring the dog into yeah. the mix. Some dog so shots. That's right. We're going to see <laughs> what we get. Is Sasha ready? You ready, Sasha Boss? You ready, Sasha? You ready? <laughs> I think she's ready. Back with Shanna and Sasha. We just finished our shoot around Bellingham. How do you think it went? I think it went really well. I was excited to be able to shoot outdoors and get some really cool murals. I think it brought a lot of color to the photos. Those murals were pretty awesome, huh? Yeah, yeah, especially against the pop and the red. Yeah. And I think the photos we did on the bridge were good because it had that nice like sunset light. Yeah. So I'm excited to see how those turned out. Sasha did really well. Yeah, Sasha yeah. behaved herself. She yeah. looked at the camera a little. She how did it go, Sasha? Did you like it? <laughs> yeah. She's speechless. A little, a little ADHD, <laughs> but you know. Thanks for the shoot. We'll have to do some more, all right? Thank you. All right. Absolutely.